Taylor Swift had always been the queen of grand romantic gestures. Her life, filled with glittering lights and adoring fans, was often a whirlwind of excitement, but it was the quiet moments with Travis Kelsey, her boyfriend, that she cherished the most. She had fallen for the NFL star's charm, not just because of his athletic prowess, but for the way he saw her as simply Taylor, someone to love, to laugh with, and to share life's little moments. One late summer evening, after a long day of rehearsals for her upcoming tour, Taylor returned to her Nashville home, tired but content. The sky was painted with soft hues of pink and orange, and the air carried a warm breeze that whispered of the changing seasons. As she approached the house, she noticed something unusual. The front porch, usually lit by soft lanterns, was instead illuminated by dozens of tiny, twinkling fairy lights, leading up to the entrance. Curious and smiling, Taylor followed the lights, her heart fluttering with anticipation. When she opened the door, she was greeted by the soft melody of one of her own songs playing on the piano. The sound filled the room, warm and familiar, and there, in the center of her living room, stood Travis. He was surrounded by hundreds of wildflowers, Taylor's favorite. The room was filled with their sweet scent, and the sight of them took her breath away. Travis, ever the gentle giant, stood with a shy smile, holding an old, worn notebook in his large hands. What's all this? Taylor asked, her voice catching in her throat. Travis stepped forward, his eyes filled with love. I wanted to do something special for you, Tay. You're always giving so much to everyone else. I thought it was time someone did something just for you. He handed her the notebook, which she recognized immediately. It was her old songwriting journal, the one she had thought she lost years ago. Her eyes widened as she opened it, flipping through pages filled with her handwritten lyrics, notes, and doodles from when she was just a teenager dreaming of making it big. Where did you find this? She whispered, her voice trembling with emotion. Travis smiled softly. I knew how much this meant to you, so I tracked it down. I wanted to remind you of the girl who started all this, the one who had dreams as big as the sky. I wanted to show you that you're still her, and that I love every part of you, past, present, and future. Tears welled up in Taylor's eyes as she looked up at Travis. He had gone through so much effort to find something she had cherished so deeply, something she thought was lost forever. It was more than just a romantic gesture, it was a reminder of who she was, of where she had come from, and of how far she had come. Taylor wrapped her arms around Travis, burying her face in his chest as the tears began to flow. They weren't tears of sadness, but of overwhelming love and gratitude. She had never felt so understood, so completely seen. Thank you, she whispered against his chest. You have no idea how much this means to me. Travis held her close, his own eyes misty. You mean the world to me, Tay. I just wanted to give a little bit of that back to you. They stood there for what felt like hours, wrapped in each other's arms, the music still playing softly in the background. Taylor knew that in that moment, she had found something rare and precious. It wasn't just the grand gestures or the thoughtful surprises, it was the simple, unwavering love they had for each other. As they finally pulled apart, Taylor looked up at Travis, her eyes shining with unshed tears. I love you, she said, her voice steady and full of promise. I love you too, Travis replied, brushing a tear from her cheek. And I'll keep reminding you of that every day. And in that moment, Taylor knew she had found a love that was worth more than all the songs she had ever written, a love that would inspire countless more. Title, A Touchdown of the Heart, Taylor Swift had experienced the high notes of life in ways most people could only dream of, but nothing quite prepared her for this moment. The dim glow of candles flickered around the room, their gentle light reflecting off the floor-to-ceiling windows of her Nashville home. Outside, the summer evening sky was painted in hues of pink and orange, slowly fading into twilight. She had just wrapped up a long day of rehearsals for her upcoming tour, her body tired but her mind still buzzing with energy. The doorbell's chime interrupted her thoughts. Puzzled, she glanced at the clock, it was an odd time for visitors. When she opened the door, she found a delivery person standing there, holding a large bouquet of roses, each one more beautiful than the last. Tucked within the blooms was a small card. With her heart racing a little, she took the flowers inside, set them down on the table, and opened the card. 
The handwriting was familiar, strong, yet tender, asterisk, meet me on the field. T, asterisk, a soft smile played on her lips as she wondered what Travis was up to. They'd been together for a few months now, their relationship a beautiful blend of her world of music and his life on the football field. He was a powerhouse on the field, a tight end who made plays that left crowds roaring, but with her, he was gentle, sweet, and always surprising her with thoughtful gestures. Curiosity peaked, Taylor grabbed her keys and headed out. The drive to the stadium felt longer than usual, anticipation bubbling in her chest. When she arrived, the entrance was deserted, save for a security guard who gave her a knowing smile and waved her through. As she stepped onto the field, she was met with the sight of hundreds of tiny lights illuminating the grass. They formed a path leading to the center of the field, where Travis stood, dressed in a sharp suit that was a stark contrast to the jersey she was used to seeing him in. Her breath caught in her throat as she walked towards him, the lights twinkling like stars under the night sky. When she reached him, he took her hands in his, his usually confident eyes are now soft and full of emotion. Taylor, he began, his voice low and steady, I know life can be crazy, and we're both pulled in so many directions. But I wanted to remind you that no matter where we are, or what we're doing, you're always in my heart. Every day with you feels like a win, and I wanted to show you that. He stepped back slightly, revealing a small table behind him. On it was a framed photograph of them, one taken during a quiet moment backstage at one of her concerts. Next to it sat a football, but this one was different. It was custom made, with the words, forever your biggest fan, inscribed on it. But what really took her breath away was the jersey draped over the chair. It was one of his, but instead of his name on the back, it had hers. Swift was emblazoned across the top, with the number 13, her lucky number, below it. Taylor's heart swelled with emotion. She had always felt his support, but seeing it laid out like this, in a place that meant so much to him, brought tears to her eyes. She tried to speak, but the words caught in her throat. Travis stepped closer, wiping a tear from her cheek with his thumb. I know it's not as grand as one of your shows, but I wanted to do something special for you, in a place that means everything to me. She shook her head, smiling through her tears. It's perfect, Travis. You're perfect. He grinned, that boyish smile she loved so much. So, what do you say, Swift? Think you could handle being the most important player on my team? Her laughter mixed with her tears as she nodded. Only if you promise to be the one who catches me when I fall. Without another word, he pulled her into his arms, holding her close as the lights around them seemed to shine even brighter. In that moment, on that field, it wasn't about touchdowns or sold-out arenas. It was just about them, two people who had found something real in each other. As they stood there, wrapped in each other's embrace, Taylor realized that this was the kind of love she'd always sung about but never quite found, until now. And as she looked up at Travis, she knew that no matter what the future held, they'd face it together, on and off the field. Taylor Swift stood backstage at Arrowhead Stadium, her heart still racing from the final song of the night. The crowd's deafening cheers echoed in her ears, but it was the thrill of the moment that lingered most in her chest. She'd performed in countless venues around the world, but tonight was special, her boyfriend, Travis Kelsey, had been in the audience, watching her every move. As she walked toward her dressing room, she couldn't help but think about how different things were since she met Travis. His warmth and humor had melted her guarded heart, and for the first time in years, she felt truly seen. The two of them, though from very different worlds, had found a connection that was genuine and deep. Pushing open the door to her dressing room, Taylor froze. The room was dark, save for the soft flicker of candles scattered around, casting a warm glow over the space. Rose petals were sprinkled across the floor, leading to a small table in the center of the room. On it sat a single envelope with her name written in Travis's familiar handwriting. With trembling fingers, Taylor picked up the envelope and carefully opened it. Inside was a simple note that read, underscore, my love, thank you for sharing your music with the world, and more importantly, with me. Every note, every lyric, and every emotion you pour out on stage makes me fall even more in love with you. I know the world is watching us, but tonight, this moment is just ours. I have a surprise for you. Follow the pedals. 
underscore her breath caught in her throat as she looked down at the trail of petals leading out of the room and down the hallway. Taylor followed the path, her heart pounding with each step. The petals led her to a door at the end of the corridor. Taking a deep breath, she pushed it open. Inside was the stadium's empty field, transformed into a private, magical oasis. Thousands of tiny lights twinkled like stars against the night sky. In the center of the field stood Travis, holding a small box in his hands. He looked up as she entered, his eyes sparkling with a mixture of love and nervousness. Taylor walked toward him, her heart pounding in her chest.